Back to the beach. Back to the beach. There's a special piece of wood. Chainsaw in hand. Okay, so here I am entering the causeway again. I was down here yesterday. I seen a wicked piece of wood that I want to use for, um, what's those uh, Lord of the Ring Ents, those big tree men. And I want to make one this summer, so I seen a pe wicked piece of wood for the legs that I want to get. And then right above that piece of wood, there was another wicked piece of wood that was uh, Arbutus. And you know, sometimes wood has that, uh, I don't know, it has an injury that it has healing wood around it. So I'm going to a bit of a different, I'm going closer to the ferry today. I got to park in a parking lot and not pay for the parking. And, and yeah, it's just a kind of a tricky situation. But let's, I'm gonna get her done, get her done. Oh yeah, I didn't get the wood yesterday because I didn't have my chainsaw. Well, today's a different story, I got my chainsaw. So yeah, here I'm coming into the parking spots. And uh, this is where I gotta go park over there. Right over there. But I gotta go around and I don't, I don't wanna pay for parking. Because this is long-term parking and I think the minimal parking that you can pay is 10 bucks so anyways I don't want the ferry guys to see me with the chainsaw in my hand I don't think because this is where they do all their trucks okay so we'll just go try and hide in this little parking spot here without paying for the parking Then I gotta cross the street and get down those rocks. Hello. There's another piece I got yesterday. Look at that hole in there. Big root piece, little root piece. Okay, so let's go do this. So yeah, I gotta go down there a little bit and uh, get her done. Okay, so I'll set up, I got my I got a phone on a tripod, so I'll film when we get there. So I gotta try and do this as quick as I can. Cedar, 100% old cedar right there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, the first pole on the right there, that's where I parked. And we're just coming up to the pieces here. Well, that's a nice one that washed up last night here. Nice straight cut slab of a board. Look at this. Might have to take that too. Okay, so here's the pieces. So the first one that caught my eye was this one. This will make good legs if I cut it right here. Right here. And right here. Like right here, and that can be his waist for the big ant man that I want to carve. You see, there's two legs there. But here's the piece of Arbutus that I really want to get. This might be too heavy for me to grab myself. It's just like you can see by my foot, it's, a, it's not a small piece of wood. But I want something just like that, it's perfect. Okay, but here's the Arbutus I was talking about. You see? This is all healing wood on the tree. Somehow it got hurt. If you look there, like here, it's got this edge. And it's got a tree, it's a tree within a tree. So like this is the skin. So I'm gonna cut this to pieces I wanna take. Okay, so you can see the size of it by my hand. But yeah, see, super cool. Because I could take it and carve it, 
I can carve the, the inside wood and leave this stuff natural, right? Like uh, carve in here and then leave this clean. And it's Arbutus, so it's a pretty, pretty neat piece. So I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod and start cutting. Okay, so I got a few pieces cut up, but if you look down here, look at inside the good, the wood that I wanted to carve, it's rotten. That's what the problem with this tree is. It was diseased. But here's a piece. See? Hold on. Jesus. See that? See that? The way the wood goes around there? The inner wood? But you look here. I don't know. Looks pretty rotten in here, but I'm gonna take it anyways. But yeah, this no sense taking that. See? Got like a neat pinkish color in there though. Ah, damn it. Okay, that thing's about a hundred pounds or more, but I got it up the rocks. I leaned it on the curb. I'll get my truck, I'll drive around, I'll come, I'll stop, and I'll throw it in the back of my truck. Mission done. But I gotta carry this, these pieces back and my saw back. Oh yeah, what about that plank board too? No, I don't need it. Okay. Whew. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Whew. 
Okay. Hands full. Back to the car. Okay, it's in there, the legs for the summer carving. So there's another mission completed by Jordy at Carving Fusion. And sorry about the cabin work today, but just a quick video, so I hope you're all good. And I'll carve that our beauty sooner or later too. Okay, bye. Okay, so I got the wood cut, then I went and sliced it my bandsaw so it sits flat. So I just wanna show you guys, you know, so it's that wood on the inside there, the darker color is the heartwood. You see it's kind of wet well i think it's pretty punky okay because you can see it right there but it's i don't know i'm going to try to carve it but you guys can see the outside of it like so this would be the center wood okay and this would be center wood too this isn't bark so you can see how it's it's trying to cover the tree and repair it but um anybody that has more inf information on this kind of stuff i'd love to hear it but yeah see this is part of it too see how you got your center wood here but then you got this piece too so or maybe this piece got rotten so bad it curled back or something i'm not too sure but anyways there's a top view of it i just think this wood was kind of uh, diseased i did see little tiny bug holes in this okay so there's bug holes so that might have been the problem I just don't know but uh, I'm gonna carve this um, tomorrow possibly live see if I can carve a wood spirit in here kind of hold the thing maybe and uh, right now I got to start carving this what's it gonna be what kind of animal it's my first animal carving I think it is maybe second okay basswood <laughs>